Hi there! Today we're learning how to make an isometric drawing. Isometrics are also sometimes called 3D drawings or pictorials, but these names aren't very specific since there are several types of pictorial drawings. In an isometric, we see three sides of an object in a single view. This means that the edges of flat sides are actually drawn at an angle on the paper, but the effect is an object that looks realistic, as though we could reach into the paper and pick it up. So let's begin. It's easiest to start with a simple rectangular shape like this. Before I start, I'm going to place a single point on a light horizontal construction line near the bottom of my paper. Every object has three dimensions, height, width, and depth. It's helpful to visualize these three directions by looking at them in color. Here, the red represents height, the green represents the depth, and the blue represents the width. On paper, these lines representing height will be drawn vertically. The lines representing depth will be drawn 30 degrees from my horizontal line, and the lines representing width will also be drawn 30 degrees from the horizontal line, but in the other direction. These are the only three angles that will be used for simple rectangular shapes. To make things easier to explain, I'll call these directions X, Y, and Z. To ensure that my angles are correct, I'll use a 30, 60, 90 triangle and a T-square. One edge at a time, I measure my object, then make the next line on my drawing. The tricky part is realizing whether an edge is representing height, width, or depth, and then drawing the line at the correct angle, X, Y, or Z. The way I think about it is like this. When you've drawn an edge of the object and you reach a corner, there are only two possible directions you can go. If you draw a line in the Z direction until you reach the correct length, then your next line must be in the X or the Y direction. Look at the object from the viewpoint that you want to illustrate it, study the edges and the way that they come together, and with practice, you'll have no trouble figuring out which way your lines should go. If your angles and measurements are precise, each of your corners will be neat and sharp. Just make sure that you have a tight fit between your T-square, drawing board, and triangle, and you should have no problem. Good luck!